Hoi hoi, this is Mega Nikoi. And today on the menu is Should you pull for Kazuha? My quick, dirty and easy answer is Yes, yes you should. Why? Because he is a really great elemental damage booster for Pyro, Electro, Hydro and Cryo. Not for other elements. Not for Dendro, which will come. Not for uh, Animal itself. Not for Geo. But he is really great in boosting damage. And if you have the necessary components, uh, a good weapon, a good sword like the Misplit, a Reforged, and some other good artifacts, and especially his. Uh, his first constellation he can be a quite decent DPS even. So but he's a really good damage booster if you give him enough energy, recharge and enough e elemental mastery. The thing is that uh, well his damage multiplication depends on his elemental mastery and uh, getting his ah, well his burst uh, to work yeah it depends on his uh, energy beat charge I can show you my current Kazuha build the elemental mastery and energy recharge uh, build I have 700 and 40, no, nine, 794 elemental mastery crit, da crit rate and crit damage are kinda down the shitter and there's some elemental energy recharge and amount damage bonus looks quite nice I've got given him the Faronius sword for some energy recharge a lot of energy recharge and also to have a bit more chance of getting m even more energy And then a f four piece viridescent venera. Here I have this piece, this piece with some EM, well, main stat EM and some crit rate, crit damage here. It works, it works. Alright, hey, get here. Thing is that he does rely on his. Uh, on his jumping and, uh, and plunging, and also on his. Uh, how should you. How should I say that? Oh, hey, look, that's Dr. Livingstone. She should be normally here, but she's waiting here because. As you can see. No, it's. it's uh, no, I. Oh yeah, that's the problem, which means that I cannot... I had a commission and someone really rude joined my world and... Well, the commission is gone. Yeah, it is as it is. So I'll just... Wait, what? Where is she even? I don't understand this. Normally you, uh, there should be... Wait, what? Yeah. And you, you do it like this, and then this, and... In both cases you can get some swirling and another swirl. So but that's the thing. You can jump up and you don't have to plunge down and uh, well I'll show you. 
You have the normal uh, plunging attack, and you have okay. this animal enhanced plunging attack that Kazuha does, and they both, uh, uh, well, uh, only the animal enhanced one uh, swirls. I'll show you. Like this. This will be there for about uh, 10 seconds at most, and then you can use it to go down. So that's one thing. Let's see. Get up there. Cooldowns are a bit. actually quite good. Well, let's see how long this lasts. Oh yeah, and you can... Uh, that's stupid, <laughs> but as you can see, you get your cooldown back on your... Well, on your jumping. And the jumping... Not the jumping, jumping. Of course it's a jump. You can do that even in mid-air. You can jump in mid-air. <laughs> Which is actually kinda crazy, isn't it? But it's deal of his package. So this is what you get at uh, Constellation Zero already. And it wears off and you get a normal plunge. Alright, I can see that. You get infused. If you want to know the m more of the specifics, explained in better detail, you can go to the Jeff and uh, look up his video about uh, Kazuha explained yeah, see. Well. Oh, nice so it's back you can see all of his uh, his skill, uh, all of his skill, uh, the jumping and the plunging, can be infused, can swirl, and also his uh, burst can swirl and can be infused. I don't, s I don't know. At least the uh, plunging down can be infused, but I'm not that knowledgeable. I, th I just use him, and uh, and I don't think about those things. Oh, this is horrifying. Where, where is she even? Oh, it doesn't matter. Thing is that Kazuha is a really great character for the for boosting the elemental damage of, well, Pyro, Electro, Hydro, and Cryo, and that's actually really great. Because you can boost mono uh, mono uh, teams, you can boost, for instance, freeze teams. You can boost Ayaka, gun you. Well, even uh, a mono pyro team, or better to say, an animal pyro team, an animal electro team. You can even e you can even boost elemental reaction damage by boosting the individual element damage uh, themselves individually. What you cannot do is improve the elemental mastery of uh, of other characters other than getting the second uh, constellation, which also boosts his own elemental mastery by 200 and also of other characters by 200. And that's only when you have his burst active. Maple Monogatai that will increase the power of the Shihayaburu. So his jumping and plunging skill. Mm -hmm. Okay, also uh, so more energy recharge, which is nice. Kazor Slash improvement. Mm -hmm. Oh, an 
Mouse Infusion. Okay, so C6 is actually uh, good for uh, for improving his GPS capabilities, just like uh, Constellation One, C1. Well, because this uh, decreases the Chihayaburu's, bu Chihayaburu's cooldown by 10%, so it goes from 6 to 5.4 seconds, and then if you use Kazuha Schloss, you get Chihayaburu back. Which I've I mean, I can demonstrate that. Oh, I th did I demonstrate that? It does not really... Ah, just... Let's, let's demonstrate it. Made some videos. Uh. No. How oh, they die so quickly, these little ones. Uh, so, where's a big one? Oh, what I can do is just use it here. Uh, we do it like that. And you have an instant reset. of his elemental skill after his elemental burst. So you go EQE -E and it's instantaneous. Is it good for the EM version? I don't know. Uh, I thought that the Jeff uh, said it's not that uh, great, it's not that effective, but yeah, I just keep using it because yeah, it feels great. Actually, it does help. Uh, oh yeah, this also is really nice. You have a big. You just use that. You use a lot of uh, these uh, dis destructible critters that give you either meat or foul, uh, and and you use Kazo's skill to just kill them while they uh, try to run away. And normally you wouldn't hit uh, them with most elemental skills or uh, just auto attacks, but with his <laughs> jumping and plunging, it's simple, as you can see. Ah, yeah, and exploration is really great, and especially extending uh, the gliding distance that you normally would have, so you can glide even further. So if you don't want to get wet, for instance, normally if you would go like this, there would be a, g a good chance that you might get wet. So if you do want to avoid getting wet, this is a way. Maybe we get some kind of uh, commissions where we have to avoid getting uh, certain statuses. Oh, what is there? Let's get myself... Where is that crystal fly even? You call. Thought I, 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 I'm quite sure I saw a crystal fly, but yeah, no, there was a crystal fly, but it's gone now. I think it. Doesn't matter. Thing is, yeah, that's Kazuha for me. And for you, his well storyline. Uh, he will get a new storyline in version 2.8 when the Summer Islands come out. I hope it uh, it will improve his his background because his current background with his friend being fried and electrified, uh, being being electrocuted on the spot by uh, the Raiden Shogun. Well and him trying to do whatever. Yeah, I, I, uh, I'll be honest, I didn't like it. I thought it was uh, kinda not that great. I will say that Ito has a better story quest. So, let's go this. Like that. Yeah, enough slimes. Enough of this. But Ito's story quest was better, and I think other. Uh, for instance, Beto's hangout was better. 
<laughs> a lot of characters have some better background than uh, than Kazuha because I'll be honest I don't play Kazuha because uh, of his personal backstory or because he looks quite great because he looks quite decent and reasonable and he's the as far as I know the boyfriend of Beido but yeah, it doesn't really feel like it. Uh, for me, he is just a really good unit, and as character, he's kind of bland. So, yeah, if you really particularly like his backstory, being this cool samurai that has a lot of... Uh, ...air capabilities, etc. That's nice, but I didn't want him for that. I wanted him because I saw some big numbers by some some YouTuber at that time, which were actually just DPS numbers, but I didn't understand that quite correctly at that time, but I was impressed, so I pulled for him, got him to C1, and then found out, oh, he is really great at buffing elemental damage. And since then, yeah, he has been in my teams often enough. And, yeah, he's a strong support Sorry. character, a, an elemental damage buffer. I don't know what's going to happen once Sumeru comes out and the whole uh, meta uh, is going to change. My personal prediction and a bit of a personal hope is that Dendro will change things up. But not in such a way that it makes other elements well, superfluous and uh, actually not that usable. I think, yes, a few Abyss uh, cycles will have uh, Dendro as a big selling point and then maybe Anemo gets scuffed and cocked. Relatively speaking. But I think in the long term, Dendro will be just a really good addition. And, uh, yeah, how do you say this? Oh, whoa, that's a lot of damage. Well, it doesn't matter. Yeah, don't do that. But I do think that uh, damage multipliers like, uh, or damage uh, or elemental buffers like Kazuha, Sucrose, to some extent Venti, I think they will, st they will have their place, but they will be a bit less relevant than before because of more options. I think that's going to be the big thing. Not that Anemo will uh, be phased out just because Dendro comes out, but that Dendro, with its reactions, will be a kind of different option. So, I think this, this Canadian Samurai will stay relevant but his relevancy will diminish because of more options. And I think that's the future that Hoyoverse will go on. Yes, there will be a few Abyss cycles, just like we have now, where a certain element is being yeah, cooked and scuffed, like for instance, uh, I currently don't use uh, Cryo uh, in Abyss, at least in Floor 12, because, well, the first half has uh, Cryo enemies in, uh, in Chamber 2, and the Cryo enhanced Ruin stuff in the first chamber, second half, well, the, ru the big Ruin robots, well, 
Uh, my Ayaka isn't strong enough to get through that. Which sucks. But yeah, that's it. Do I recommend Kazuha? Yes, I do. I totally do. If you have some personal problems with him, or you just think you hate the meta, or whatever, yeah, skip him if you really want. Or if you really want to think, yeah, I need some Dendro coin, fuck Alamo coin, Dendro coin is the future, well, go for Dendro coin. If you don't have enough funds and you really don't want to invest in a pretty really good character, I think Kazuha will stay relevant, but his relevancy will just diminish because of many, many, many more options coming. For instance, we have uh, Raiden Shogun, we have Bennett at the top, we have Kazuha at the top, we have some other characters uh, at the top, which are, which most likely will never totally fade away. For instance, even, even Chong Li, who has been nerfed over and over and over and over again, still has a high place in the meta, even now, because he is a bit of a comfort unit in uh, in Abyss. And especially relevant for uh, characters that need some protection, like Hu Tao, like Ganyu, like Yoimiya. Those are the characters that actually, they do rely on uh, on Chong Li to function properly. Of course, you don't need Chong Li, but he's still a really great investment for certain characters. Using Shong Li in a team that doesn't really need him, yeah, there he is a bit of a DPS loss because of how his kit works. So, I do think just like with Shong Li, but unlike with Venti, who was actively really targeted with bigger and bigger enemies and uh, big bosses. Yeah, they really uh, fucked Venti over. I mean, he's still good, but he's really dependent on the mob. While Kazuha, if they really want to uh, fuck him over, they will most likely need to fuck over Sucrosa as well. And while she's really good, she's as good as he is in a different way, yeah. Trying to get rid of Kazuha also gets rid of a lot of other characters. So, I think it will be quite difficult uh, getting getting him really irrelevant by uh, making the abyss really against, well, be uh, not favorable for him. There are other ways, as I already noted. And if you do think, hey, I want, uh, I have uh, Sukosa, so I don't need Kazo. To some extent, that's true. But uh, what if you want to have uh, more than one Sukosa? What if you want two Sukoses? Then I say, get yourself a Kazo. Yes, he is Sucrosa 2.0. He is that good. He's not uh, as uh, reaction uh, uh, multiplicative bo uh, damage boosting, but yeah, both have a bit of a different uh, thing that they do, but they all both use VV Shred and the EM buff and swirling, etc. So both are really 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 great and I'll have to show you how they actually compare to each other in ones. Sucrose in some ways is a bit clunky in some ways but not in all ways but she's really good 
I would say Kazuha and Sukrosa are about as powerful as each other, but the thing is that Sukrosa, well, a lot of people think she's clunky, but depends on how you use her. As someone who has made Sukrosa, I will say she's really, really good. And she's also worth leveling up and, uh, and maxing out her, uh, her elemental mastery, etc. I say this, get yourself a Kazuha if you can, and if you have a Sucrosa, still get yourself a Kazuha. It's an investment for the future, which I think you will not really regret. Even with Sumero coming, even with all the new stuff coming out, I think he is a worthwhile investment and I do agree with the other YouTubers. With Erotica Evolvers, with Valkyrie, with also with Zajev, with uh, well, Soul and other uh, YouTube Genshin creators. So get yourself that Kazuha. I, I'm not telling you because I'm such a Kazuha sim, I'm just telling you because I know how good he is. And he's really good. He's really top of the line. If you... For instance, I think he will be u still be used quite proficiently by those who have him, who've pulled for him, by most of those who've pulled him in uh, in Spiral Abyss. Yeah, in one year, two years, three years. May maybe things will be a bit different. Maybe his usage will go from 90 to 80 or 70 percent, but still 70 percent is, is, is a lot. Maybe it's 60, I don't know. But there's one other thing, his exploration capabilities, which, m which also set him apart from other characters. Just like Venti, just like Kishing, just like uh, Daddy Shongli, who's also an excellent miner. So, yeah, that's it. This is my big sales pitch for Kazuha. And no, he's not the end-all, be-all for uh, for everything, and in some ways Sukosa is better. But if you can get him, he's a great addition to your teams. To your uh, elemental damage and elemental reaction teams. Hey, have a nice time, and see you later. Bye!